Like you said, this is my icebreaker. My name is Jeffrey McKee. I'm oh, icebreaker! I'll be speaking on where all the energy is going. When I was growing up, I wanted to work on appliances. You know, dishwashers, washing machines, dryers. I wanted to figure out where all the missing socks were going. <laughs> no matter how careful I could be, I would always end up with a missing sock. Well, I got a little older and a little bit wiser and decided to tackle a bigger issue of where all the energy is going. It all started with those little stickers on the bathroom mirrors that say, conserve your water, save the whales, or turn off the lights, save electricity. Those little, those little stickers must have made a mark in my mind because I decided to make a stand for the environment and figure out where all the energy is going. It was eighth grade, I came home and threw a fat stack on the kitchen table. I told my parents, I'm running for student council. They were surprised and enthusiastic. They asked why, and I said so I could make a stand for the environment and be a voice for the people. So we went to Hobby Lobby, got the most neon signs we could find, and wrote with the thickest marker, vote for me, Jeffrey McKee. I won, <laughs> I won my seat on student council and was able to represent the community and play in the school district. Eighth grade was not the last time I would make a stand for the environment. I went to the University of North Texas and at that time I was undecided. I took a career development class and decided to choose mechanical and energy engineering to continue to pursue my passion of finding where all the energy is going. At that time, I realized that I still had a passion for the environment, and at this time I was not alone. I took on a mid-semester you know, campaign for the environment called Beyond Coal. Beyond Coal's goal was to divest collegiate campuses from dirty energy to 100% clean, renewable energy. We spread our, our mission through canvassing, petitions, and on-campus on rallies. And like today, I stood, stood behind a podium giving our speech and our feasibility study of the campaign to the administration asking them for support. The best part of this involvement with Beyond Coal was my trip to Washington, D.C., where myself and thousands of others young adults got to hear Al Gore speak on the environment and supporting young adults. This was all during the time of the BP oil spill and BP's headquarters was there in Washington as well. We held a rally there asking corporations to be held responsible for their actions. They took away our beaches at, at the Gulf, so we took our beach party to a BP gas station where we shut it down for a day. I took a personal day while in Washington to take a walk around the reflection pond. I thought of our forefathers, got to see the Jefferson Memorial, all while well, missing my physics class. <laughs> Excused, of course. Once I got back to Denton, I was again a little bit older and a little bit wiser. I decided activism was not the best way to accomplish my goals of making a stand for the environment and figuring out where all the energy is going. I finished up my degree, took a job at a company called Schneider Electric, a company as dedicated to the environment as I am. Today I work as a remote system support engineer for building automation and control systems, helping reduce the amount of energy spent on pumps, filters, fans, boilers, and chillers. We make the most of your energy while ensuring occupant comfort and reducing energy consumed by those electronic devices.